Over the course of two centuries, our Methodist Church has sent thousands of missionaries to hundreds of locations, transforming millions of lives. I commission you to take the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the, all the world. At its very core, Methodism is a missional movement. It is our history, our present, our future, and we are all part of it. Our church was born from self-conscious missionaries sent to America by John Wesley. But it was a most unlikely Christian pioneer who is considered to be our first cross-cultural Methodist missionary in America. John Stewart was a free black man, but fettered to alcohol and depression. He cast aside his demons and planted Christianity among the Wyandotte Native American people. When Methodist men and women heard of Stewart's remarkable work, they responded in 1819 by forming our first missionary societies. And for the past 200 years, we have stepped out in uncertainty and vulnerability because we could do nothing less. Led by the Holy Spirit in unfamiliar territory, compelled to share the love of Christ. Henry Appenzeller New Church wasn't a place when he penned. Don't look for a building yet, for you'll be disappointed. But pray for it, and Methodism will flourish in the land of the morning call. We go from everywhere to everywhere and encounter the unknown, guided by faith. Young Sion Kin says the God-given solution was not to turn anyone away and offer just one meal a day so everyone could eat something. Life is fragile, but God is with us. Much the same spirit launched our Methodist mission in the Congo. For years, John Springer felt the pull to serve. Upon arriving in Africa, he met a former slave who had also been praying earnestly for the arrival of Christian mentorship. John Springer said upon meeting Kaiki, I was convinced that before me stood the one who had prayed us into Africa. In West Africa today, we have served even in the most difficult of circumstances. Dr. Albert Willacore on his work after the military coup d'etat in Liberia. I found that it was inextricably the invisible hand of God. I could not abandon the sick behind battle lines. The sacrifice and peril we faced have long been the reality of service. And I echoed and wrote, after the Russian Revolution, I sold most of my possessions and burned furniture for firewood just to keep our Methodist community together. Our past has informed our present because when seeds of faith are planted, they spread throughout the world. Clara Mridula Biswa sees transformation from emerging ministries in Cambodia and she says, it is joyful to watch the faces of happy children as they go to places they have never gone before. Our collective mission over the course of 200 years continues through passionate service of global mission fellows and faithful missionaries who take us with them into the world. Sonia Vargas prayed, I understand that it is time to go to the street to extend the hand to the needy to help them rise, to watch them with loving eyes, and you find yourself in the middle of their necessity. As United Methodists, we are a community of missionaries. Some of us go from everywhere to everywhere, but some of us stay. And if you have ever put a dollar in the collection plate, prayed for those suffering, or shared your faith story, then yes, you are mission too. Because as United Methodists, we are and will always be in mission together.